Have you ever been watching a movie and then the sound just kind of doesn't match up? Yeah. Yeah, I was watching a, a movie the other day and that happened. Yep, and what'd you do? I turned it off. Exactly. Because if your puppet is saying words like... Hi, my name is Alexa. And I move my mouth like this all the time. It kind of just doesn't... That doesn't go well. Today we're going to talk about lip sync. It's Maddie Monday, and today we're going to talk about lip sync. So now that you've got your puppet looking where you want her to look. I can see you. And you're dropping that thumb down. Oh, oh, oh. So that she's talking without flipping her head. Oh. Like that. Oh, I feel like I'm at the dentist. I know, it's kind of like being at the dentist. So you're not going to say ah oh, that quite that big though, okay? Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's good. We're going to practice by doing um, opening up the hand on each syllable. Syllable. Yep. Syllable. Syllable. Let's practice with our numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And let's do seven one more time. Seven. Good. So you see we opened it two times on that one because there's two syllables for the number seven. Seven. What about for 345,072? Oh, oh, or even better, 525,600 minutes. You can practice your ABCs like the ones on Alexa's shirt, but you won't really get to anything with double syllables until the letter W. W. And then you only really say triple syllables when you're enunciating it, right? W. But really, you would go W. Try counting in another language. I only know what you know. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Ichi, ni, san, chi, go. I think that's all I know. Opening her mouth. It only does the one thing, right? It opens and closes and doesn't really do much else. It's not like our mouth that can make the O or an E and kind of stretches on a bunch of different directions. We kind of have to play around with the limitations of just that open, close, open, close, right? And try and make it still look like the puppet is talking. So how can we do that? So first thing we want to do is make sure that we're varying the how, how open we open his mouth. So if it's really big all that time. And I talk like a robot. It's gonna look a little weird. Or if it moves exactly the same amount every time. And I move my mouth the exact same way all day long. So you get the idea, change it up a little bit. So that's it, make sure you're, you're syncing up to what you're saying, practice it a lot, practice with your puppet, talk to your puppet. If you don't know what to say, pick something that you know really well. Like a poem? Yeah, like a poem would be great. Or like a tongue twister? Yeah, you wanna tell us a tongue twister? She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, but those all have one syllable. Can you try one that's a little harder? Here. Peter Titer take the tack of tickled peppers. Okay. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't Fuzzy Wuzzy. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I know all of Beauty and the Beast. You know all of Beauty and the Beast. And I can recite all of it. Okay, well then when you do that, you can practice reciting it and moving your lips, something that you know really well, and then watch it back on video or watch yourself in a mirror and practice that way. All right, we'll see you next time.